Here comes Clarkson, drop pass Shiguer. Shot is pushed wide. The Colonial got a stick in the way of that shot. It's kept in. Bouncing puck, Pigeon. Now the bank hander by Jaguer. Save made, rebound, score. And did it get in? Yes. And Clarkson strikes first on a flurry. And on the third shot, it came from Gabrielle David. And the freshman from Drummondville, Quebec, makes it one zip Clarkson. Yeah, too many opportunities in tight there for Clarkson as they had the original shot. A nice toe save by Desmet. But then the rebound sitting to the left of the goal, and the, it was Gabrielle David who just planked it off the left post and in the net. Comes up high. Slap shot through. That one snuck between the blocker and the post on the shot from way up high by Lauren Bernard. And Clarkson with a 2-0 lead. And Bob, they've got the territorial advantage and the advantage on the scoreboard here yeah, early yeah, on. Colonial's able to block a couple of shots in that sequence, but Puck eventually works its way to that right point in a slap shot. And not sure if that puck dropped a little bit. But and here comes Harley with it. Gets it to Burbage, who lifts it in. Burbage gets the goal for Robert Morris. And the Colonials are on the board. And they cut that Clarkson lead in half. And how about Maggie Burbage, the freshman, getting her first career goal? Uh, how about Harley carrying that puck up the ice, weaving through the Golden Knight defense, took it down low all the way to the goal line, made a little backhand pass to Burbage in front. And Burbage able to just chip that puck off the right post. Pass Zeglin around the wall. Not out, LeCavier kept it in somehow. Templeman to Gebhardt. Look at Templeman shoots one to save made rebound. Boyle shoots and scores! And we're tied at two. Michaela Boyle against her old team evens the game at two. Well, and they say on a power play, you want to outwork your opponent. Even though they're one less player down, you got to still work and work and work. And the Colonials did there. They wouldn't. Say no, and a good little give and go with Templeman and Gebhardt. Templeman with the shot on the net and the rebound there. Boyle just digging away, and I'm not sure who's going to get this, if it's going to be Boyle going to get that goal, or there's a scramble in front, and the Colonials just... Templeman, Boyle, Harley, Curlett, and Gebhardt on the ice. Curlett moves in, shoots, and scores! Bounced it through the pads of Zeglin! who was caught off guard by that skip shot, and it went between the shortstop's legs. Yeah, playing on the pond, throwing those, skimming those rocks, and that's what that looked like, as Curlett carried the puck up the ice and just uh, came over the blue line, wristed it. I don't know if it hit off the defenseman or not, but it took a funny bounce, and, and now you're gonna see a goaltending change. So Zeglin, is done. Now pass up for Jaguar. Jaguar's got room. Jaguar moves in. Shoot safe made. Rebound. Oh, and she couldn't find it on the backhand. Desmet made the initial save. And now here comes another chance. A backhander and a save made by Desmet. That time it was Gabrielle David. And then some pushing and shoving after the whistle. And now Clarkson will try to respond. But Desmet with the save. Yeah, some good opportunities there. Jaguar came in. At Shot had the rebound and Shelton's up high with it. And on the right side, handling the puck is Markowski. Shot, bouncing puck. Oh, it grabbed out of the air, but then it gets through. Reaching back was Desmet. Thought she had it in the glove, but it must have been behind her because Thompson was in there trying to find that puck, but it gets through. Yeah, it looks like Desmet had it originally and it must have dropped behind her. Shelton's wrister misses wide. Jaguar near side. Back high it comes, back to Jaguar. Interference is the call on Wace and Rice. Look out, Paisleba has room, shoots and scores over the right shoulder of Desmond. And Clarkson with back-to-back -back goals regains the lead, it's four to three. And up high is Curlett still. Time running down on this five on three, four seconds to go. 
Gebhardt, curl it, slap shot. She shoots and scores with one second to go in the five on three. We are tied at four. Emily Curl at second of the game. Well, there you go. A well-conceived timeout by the Colonials as they, they went back to that crisscross behind the net, but except instead of Gebhardt trying to do the stuff play, the wraparound. Knights, national champs in 2017 and 2018. Oh, and a wrister and a glove save. The puck was bouncing and it was covered up by Desmond. Yeah, good shot there by Chiguero. Just stepped inside out. Let that shot go. And Desmond doing a good job of just staying with that. Back high it comes. Shelton, Pazlovo now. Goes near side and Markowski had to go up the heel to stick it wide. Off the boards, LeCavier racing for that loose puck. Can't get to it, oh, but now they get it ahead to Gephardt. On the breakaway, here comes JC. She scores! A shorthanded goal on a five on three power play. And JC Gephardt makes it 5-4 Robert Morris. Unbelievable. A foil. Carrying it in is Shelton, got a bit of a step on Curl, it moves in, shoots one, Desmet makes herself big and keeps the puck in front of her and freezes it with 2.13 to go. Shelton got behind the D. And have to rely on Ariel here down the stretch too. Big stop there as the Golden Knights pushing the envelope there. Centered, look out, clean look for Paislava, Desmet says no. Paislova got alone in front. Paislova was all alone, and Desmond comes out to the top of that circle. And they separate. Paislova's got the puck here in the final minute. Jaguar gets past the defense. Jaguar moves in, shoots, and scores. And Jaguar ties the game as somehow she slipped behind the RMUD. And with 53 seconds to go, the Knights have tied it at five. Oh, Jagarit. 24 seconds to go in the game. Oh, crowd wanting a call there, not gonna get it. Look out, settled, shot, score, and an unbelievable finish as Clarkson wins the game with 16 seconds to go in overtime, and a puck that just sat there seemingly forever, and winning the game is Gabrielle David here in overtime.